This video is a little bit special. My primal goal is to teach you how to win more often because I'm convinced that the odds of winning is not just a flip of a coin. It's not just matchmaking or tank that you're playing. For good players, there is a system behind it. This video is two hour long, so I would recommend you to save it to watch later and come back, watch it in smaller portions because I understand not everyone has two hours at once to watch it all. In fact, I would recommend you to watch it maybe four or five games at the time and take your time to think about the stuff that you learn. And I can promise you guys that if you will watch this video actively, trying to find patterns what i am doing in the game at the beginning of the battle at the middle and at the end especially when things aren't working when i'm dying if you will see what i'm doing if you will find it for yourself if you will understand you're gonna be way way better player in this two hour of gameplay you will see 20 games and i'm going to win 85 percent of those if at any point you will notice something special that I'm doing that gives me victories, feel free to leave a comment down below. It's also going to be easier for you to remember once you write your thoughts down. And maybe there is going to be someone else sharing his experience that probably you've missed. Let me know what you think and let's jump into the video. They like the reaction time, but like my, I, I, I'm gonna teach you that. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the um, series of videos, talking how I'm paying attention on the setups, how I'm moving around the map, what positions to take, you know, and stuff. I'm, I literally want to teach you. Why am I tank so slow? I'm playing with the stop with the rammer. No, I'm not using browsers. That's bad. Doesn't seem that they're here. I wanna shoot. I'm gonna push Projecto. Is he AFK? It looks like he's AFK, guys. I knew it, man. I literally knew it. Don't even... I literally knew it, bro. That there is going to be a Ponder. The tank that I thought of, it, he is there. Okay, we kill uh, Progetto. The, uh, that would be nice to have that HP. I would be able to push down here to get map control. And luck. Maybe instead of doing that, maybe I could have like picked here. Nah. Maybe I should have went here, like went outside and went here. Ah, that was greedy. I picked unspotted. My bad. So, I know that from this side, uh, enemy have control over this area. Always, like, oh, sorry, no, 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 ne, never mind, no, no, no. But if I know that if if I see them pushing, this is the best position here, because you can shoot them on the top and you can shoot them when they push over here. 
something for you to remember. If I would be like Leopard, for example, and I would not want to play aggressive, this is good position here. Uh, but uh, for now, hmm. You, I, I just want to try this. I see that people go there quite a lot. I want to see. Good day, nerds. Hello, Fixery. Hello, and also Honzair. Good afternoon. I don't think it's very good position. So, we can see that we have no control over the north and a lot of tanks pushing south. Didn't get spotted, no one on the middle. But they have mouse. There is not much space for mouse. Is this bush 50 or 25 percent? Oh, look what I found, guys. There is mouse. Can barely see him. Should hit fire, huh? Oh, wait. He's gonna get spotted again. I think that bu the bush is 50 actually because that hit mouse He's gonna try to push because he has teammates and other side is falling Sadly, in this game, nothing is happening, so there is nothing to point out to. Should be unspotted. Look at this mouse upper plate, guys. All green. Can I pen him on auto aim? <laughs> no way! Look at this, bro. Auto aim mouse. Huh? I think I hit his gun. Oh no, no, no. It went a little. It went up above. A little bit. <laughs> but yeah, this tank is dirty. And look at our E3, man! Yeah, that guy is contributing to the victory. Yeah, that that is not acceptable. If you play like this, guys, I'm shaking my head on you.
I can get one tap by the FV, so I gotta be careful. Holy shit! Chill, guys. Uh, I I thought it was Leopard that was spotting me, but what the, that was Airy Chim. Unlucky man. And although I didn't do anything, five thousand damage without one shot. The hair looks good, thank you. Oh, Hyman, did you ask me to play it? Was that your original question? No speed governor? No, no, no. I don't think it affects that much. What? I've lost 150 HP. No way. Is experimental better than bond? With experimental your gun works so much more. He lost all of his HP. Do I just send it, guys? A ROM is my DPM, guys. No! And I, I got extra shot, bro. That's a way to do it. We're just straight up having fun here, boys! Pushing W, holding W on everything. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that, guys? Even hit. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, guys. What is your favorite Tech 3 medium? Gotta be the Leopard. Oh! Team play, guys! He's hunting me down, man. Easy, GG. Can we have some claps in the chat for this mad lad BZ76, guys? 
Holy, he did in second guess, man. He joined me. Of course. Hansire, thank you for three months. I appreciate it. Like, uh, AP has lower shell velocity, therefore it's harder to lead your shots and uh, like aim in general. Plus with the gold rounds, you have higher chance of panning, exactly the same area that you would be able to pen with the AP. And for the most part, like if you're shooting at the cupolas, right? You're gonna, you're gonna pen it with the AP anyway. But with AP here, it's easier to hit because of the shell velocity. Plus, uh, like even with the AP, right? You shoot the, the turret, and there is a chance it like vent a little higher from where you were aiming, and it drops. Uh, like I mean, you drop the penetration because of the uh, how the game works, right? And uh, the the bo so you didn't pen. That's why with the gold rounds, uh, it's like more predictable uh, whether you're gonna pen it or not. Plus. Uh, you have the larger surface area to pen and so if you want to get better at the game I would suge suggest you to be playing with the gold rounds and like your re reaction time is going to increase simply because uh... like th does it make sense what I'm saying or is it nonsense guys oh I need to focus this guy I should just go in. No, that was... I didn't want to hit him. Bro, he has too much pain. He has too much pen, and my team is so slow, like... Like, I, I literally told them that I'm going to push it. And now they're joining. Imagine they were... They would be there while I was alive. Like, I was going in just because I thought that they're gonna uh, join. I don't know why would they be sitting behind. I honestly don't understand. Happens. So we have to 7 9 in the enemy team. And 279 is... Oh, wait, we are attacking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Attacking. Hmm. Okay, one thing for you guys to keep in mind. When you're attacking on this map, never cross like this. Just go more, more to the left, more to the right. It's gonna take you one second longer to get to the position. But you're not gonna receive any damage. Because whenever I'm playing against you and you're pushing here... I will get in the position at the corner like here or there and I will be able to shoot you crossing. So don't be lazy. 
go a little bit more left, a little bit more right, and also you're gonna have cover there. Uh, so I, I'm literally going to counter enemy who is going to shoot at the cross. Uh, no, this experimental is uh, tier two. Well, that light, light tank had the game. Look. See? Now imagine I'm crossing here. How many shots would I take? We had one, two, two auto load. Oh. Uh, hello, guys. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry, my manners. I didn't see you. So small things like this make a big difference, guys. You don't lose HP here, you don't lose HP there, and uh, at the end uh, you have HP to carry the game. Don't pick him, please. I almost hit him, by the way. Okay, um... I would like to do crazy tactic. But maybe not? No, no, no. I need my team. Okay, object is shooting AP for now. I'm not gonna pick here. The he is in perfect position. If he switch to gold rounds, my armor will magically disappear. We need to find something better to do. I can kill, kill Hori. No, they're coming back. Gotta be very careful. How did he even get there? For 30 is looking at me. Yeah, pick my friend. And you failed. GG's, bro. And now T5041 that I help not to die is helping us. Easy, man. No, he got an angle on me. He penned me with AP. Easy peasy, man. Okay, here. What do we do here? Of course I could go and play against the heavies. Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, it's double RT. Guys.
Hello, Scorpiani. How you doing, my brother man? Flix Shroud. Shroud on, on uh, second account. Thank you for eight months, man. Have his life. So, my plan for this round is to win this flank. You win that flank, they cannot play on the middle anymore. Because if I go to, to fight against the heavies, it's like you're just going to be looking at their cupolas. And I don't really like that. We know that this guy is using stock turret, therefore he should have 220 damage gun. So, other like, in other words, he is not dangerous at all. And so, as you can see, medium is already running away. After we killing this, okay, my team is. It's gonna take my team ten years to clean up this flank fully. So I'm gonna go and kill the WZ. Okay, bro. Wait, actually, Chieftain pushed, but we gotta go back now. Unless we cap. Yo, unless we cap, boys! We playing for the victory, right? No, 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 no. There is one golden rule, guys. If you want to cap enemy base, you have to make sure that your own is under protection. There is a golden rule that cannot be... That you should be following, guys. Always. At all times. You wanna go cap enemy base? It's fine. Make sure they cannot cap yours. Because if you were to sit on the cap, you would be paralyzed. You don't want to leave, you don't want to kill tanks. And then they would just come close to, to the cap. While uh, your base is getting kept. The TVP is quite annoying. So, whenever you play next time, guys, by the way, they are shielding the light tank, I think. I have to stop the cap. Whenever you're gonna be playing World of Tanks the next time and before you decide to cap enemy base just remember what Ayuxin told you guys You have to remember that your base has to be under the protection first
Give me promise that he will remember. You're gonna win way more games by fighting instead of capping. And it's gonna be way more interesting. She's gonna get me. Easy. Capping is better than lose a draw if you have to pick one. Yes, there is moments when you can cap and win, but if it's like seven tanks alive on both sides and you're going to cap, hoping that you're going to cap, it's wrong. Because it takes one tank to come back in the cap and you can't do anything about uh, your bases being capped. So, I have 70% win rate, roughly, by following this. Surely, there is probably some games that, that, that I could have won by capping, or like securing the camp for my team, but it's just not in my head. I don't consider um, capping as an option of winning. I'm fighting, and uh, because I'm fighting, I, ha I have a lot of experience about positions to take, which uh, like where I want to take fights against the enemies, and that way, I learn about the game. Guys, how good is the hill to play now? I never been on the hill. I never play there. Cupola snipe only? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I figure it. They make it balanced, but balance is boring, I, I think. Wait, I can play aggressive middle. Look at my team positions. This is fantastic. Is th that's what you call a ram? How do we do it now? Yeah, we just ignored that thing. Now we cap, guys. <laughs> cap time, boys. Oh, this projector is gonna regret. Yeah, pick, boy. Pick, my friend. <laughs> easy win, guys. Easy win. No way you didn't. No. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. 
Yo, thank you, Hogex. We extinguish our fire rather quickly. Okay, where is the Cobra, guys? <laughs> that that is exact reason why I don't use uh, solo a shot on the seven three. That is exact reason why, guys. I hate that so much. Oh no! F in the chat for Scorpion. Lol. He found him in the worst moment. Wait, we are camping? No. Guys, it was a prank! Usually, smarter player don't play heal, so damage team just rush at it and wins the game. Happens quite often to me. Hmm... I don't know, heal... Heal on this map is so weird to me, although I never play it, but it feels like you go there, if you don't have enough, you just get over rushed, and then you have to go back, you know? I don't know, I never go heal. They, they, don't, they don't have tank destroyer. We're gonna lose CT massively. Because of their platoon. Um, and uh, Tortoise is go. To okay, this is gonna be so hard. You don't tell me what to do. But yeah, so with the tortoise playing from this side, they will have cupola on the left. So on the right side, right? So picking left side corners, they're gonna be invincible. So that's why I'm saying that we have to push zero line. On top of that, they don't really have uh, strong tank destroyers. It's just one chariot here. And not many mediums uh, on the top of that. We should do that. Okay, there is no tank destroyers. Do you guys think they read what I'm typing? Surely, right? Only track him. I didn't? Track him now. Borat might give me one or two. Der 
So this game is very good example how paying attention to the enemy lineup helps you understand uh, about the flow of the game. Even before the game even start, I already know how it is going to go. And I have a feeling that my push really isn't that good. I'm just uh, practically going in the crossfire. Yeah, the TNH is thinking about picking. I really don't like going here, guys. This could be the game changer. I have to pick before he gets close to me. Perfect shot, but unfortunately not pen. Okay, we got this. That could have ended badly. TNH, I think, is using uh, one shooter gun. If he has muzzle bait. Yeah, he has a muzzle boost, you see? That means he's using stow gun. Wait, where does he pen me? My cupola, I mean my... Four seventy! Four seventy! I'm so bad, why did I go like this in close quarters? I could have just uh, sit here, use my DPM. Bro, this is happening way too often. Don't tell me this is going to cost us a game. Four seventy. There is hope not when RT plays like that. Okay. Well, that was, that was very bad. Mistake was made, guys. But uh, GG. Thank you, thank you. So, guys, what we did in this game. We saw double Toritoys. We know that they're playing from the side where they are picking with the left side uh, of the tank. And whenever they pick left side, the cupola is hidden. And uh, we, I knew that uh, this platoon is going to dominate the city. And that exactly what happened. Plus, after Chariot you pushed so close, I knew that there is a high chance there is nobody sitting at the back. Before the game even started, we already knew the outcome and how the game is going to develop. That's why I was uh, asking my mediums not to sit behind, but go together with us. You assume they have game knowledge, it works this time, but not always. No, it's I'm not assuming uh, I'm not expecting my team to know. I'm I'm typing, right? And so they might like you. I'm waiting for 30 seconds anyway. Might as well just type to my team because if they will listen, uh, like literally, I uh, the only reason I was playing with a friend now because few games ago I was typing in the chat and he th he knew it's me. Because I was typing, although my nickname is hidden. And then he messaged me after the game, we played a few rounds, won all, the, all games.
So they, it might not work every time, but it's worth the try, you know? I remember watching here a few years ago, your English got infinitely better. <laughs> uh, whisper, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, man. How are you doing? Okay, we're gonna aim at the EBR. Maybe EBR is here? I don't know. It seems like my EBR is not getting spotted. Look how many tanks are here. So, look, look! I'm gonna go and spot for them. I'm gonna show you one bush to be able to spot this hill, guys. Right here. And the bush is in here. Sadly, no one was uh, ready to shoot him. Oh, wait! <laughs> Baby, ooh! What's happened? No, it's okay. <laughs> I guess we are even, bro. Am I sp I am. Did EBR stay back? No way I was spotted by this guy, right? And so now that I push like this, my team is going to be feeling way more confident of getting closer. Because enemy cannot peek on the ridge anymore, they know they are going to get spotted. And look, it's not going to take my team too long until they come. Just look, they're going to come. They're going to come. They, they, are, they, they are going to come. They will. They will come. They will come. You see, they're coming. Mm. 
I think I think what I do to win games is take responsibilities in my hands. Like I don't wait for my team to do shit. I do shit myself. Okay. The only thing that is missing <laughs> is to start aiming. So yeah, I see that we have a lot of tanks, right, ready to shoot, and I'm going into position to be able to provide assistance for my team. I'm trying to be effective. Everyone is waiting for the spot. I'm gonna be the one spotting. Hello, Johnny. And like, that push was was a good push you because they couldn't pick her anymore be, uh, comfortably behind the bush force left and uh, once the leopard came we were able to put some you know work together okay uh ladies and gentlemen i'm not sure about this one so paying attention at the setup this is the heavy lineup map Whoever, ha whoever wins the heavy side usually end up winning the game. They have three tank destroyers that can play aggressive. They have extra heavy tank and they have 279. Uh, can I... I cannot push left because they have 907 and STB and Lion. So they, they have advantage on the left and they have advantage on the right. But I'm gonna go right anyway. Because I know that right is going to suffer. So I'm gonna try to fortify it. Maybe I will try to play around here to not allow them to pick. I don't know. We will see. But my team is gonna suffer greatly on this side. What do you think most out of meta tier 10? Hmm, gotta be like Panzer Wagon, like Panzer 7. Actually, I'm gonna keep a PCR. Just in case I can go for double tracking. And let me break it. Uh, we are losing this side. So, this is a losing game. I think 99% we're gonna lose this game. We've lost two tanks. We have no map control. Uh, and uh, they are playing defensive here. So there is no possible way from, for us to push. Uh, actually, wait. I like what this I-7 is doing. This is our our hope of winning. Oh, no. Nah. Not with that E3, guys. And uh, no, nah, no. Nah. This is a loss. Sadly, you cannot do anything about it. We've lost it before the game starts. I'm sorry. You guys, did you see anything? Guys, do you see anything right now? Like do you see this weird bug happening, uh, actually? Nah, he's just better. Yeah, like this is lost before the game even starts. Wait, I see some hope.
He got me, bro. I should have pushed to 7-9. I should have YOLO down. And uh, if I was on reload. I should have jumped down. Well, um... Yeah, like I said, at the beginning of the game, straight up from the beginning, uh, it was possible. I mean, it was. Uh, I was expected to lose, but uh, with the two tanks over here and 113 playing on the medium side, I, I thought it would be our hope to uh, to push inside. But I failed and took quite a lot of damage against object. 11% uh, and 54%. Okay. So whenever you're playing with the light tanks, guys, or like you expect to be sitting behind, you really want to know. You really want to use this uh, document. And using this document, you're going to see that um, without the bush, and, and if enemy has 450 meters view range, in the open field, no bush. I can be as close as 234 meters to the enemy. If I am firing, it can be I can be as close as like if it's 90 meters between us and it's 80% bush, which means two bushes or three bushes, I can keep 90 meters. So 240 to be safe and 90 meters. If you would like to have this document, join our Discord. In announcement channel at the very top, you will find Excel file. You download it and drop it on your Google Drive. The values that I'm putting in the document can be found in concealment part of your vehicle. I'm using mm, like stationary vehicle camouflage or after firing. And I put those values on the top and the view range of the enemy is something that I expect. I put 450, so it's an average. Of course, this is, isn't 100% correct because you never know what come, what view range enemy has, but it's just an average. And so I, I like to have a look at these two numbers because first one is in the open when there is no bushes. So I need to know with my lighting, how close can I get to the enemy without getting spotted. And the second value is the distance I have to keep between me and enemy while double bushing. Okay, set up. Uh, one, two, a bunch of mediums, so we have to be playing safe. A bunch of mediums, that means we cannot push here. If it would be just one light tank, for example, uh, then I could go aggressive and push uh, enemies on, uh, like, proxy spot there, rock. So my team wouldn't be, would be able to go down safely, but we cannot. And having so many mediums, we are able to, uh, like, to probably connect some shots uh, on the cross. That's why I'm going here. Actually, my team is pushing. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, mm, we didn't spot anyone crossing. And I want to, once again, put everything in my hands, take responsibility, and uh, push this side. Oh. I think I would like to get unspotted here, right? Right? Easy bounce. I would like to push. We have so many mediums here. I would really like to push. And I think it's very easy to do. It's just one Manticore here. He's 1550 HP, means that he has a 
turret that is stuck. Okay, it is it is a little bit of a steal made here. No one is pushing, no one is doing anything. So I'm gonna go in city. Actually, it's not very needed. He spotted me now. Where are you going, bro? So, because now we have control over that side, I'm able to play on this side of the rock. But I saw that STB is moving here. So I'm not gonna go push fully yet. Remember, we checked uh, the document. We can be as close as 240 meters. That means he won't be able to spot me from this far. Knowing this, I can feel very confident. That I won't be spotted. And I recommend you guys to get this document yourself. Have it uh, saved somewhere where you, it's very accessible. And uh, you use it every time. It's gonna help you so much. He's looking my way, but I don't care. <laughs> nice HE round. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we need a rule with this tank. You just don't use HEs. By the way, on this map I think we brought CVS, but uh, we should have had the damage dealing setup. Why did I do that? What? I refuse to believe it. How? I didn't pen. How is it possible? No! He is so much better, guys. Professional juker. Juked me. Okay, so, we have a plan in the, at the beginning of the game, right? There is some comfortable positions that I would like to take, but then I see on the, by the lineup that it would be very difficult. And so not to risk it, I'm going in the position to prevent enemies of using position that I would, would like to be using, going in the middle, right? And then I see that my team is pushing and I'm like, oh, okay. My team is going uh, there, I can be in front of them. But I see that they are very shy of pushing 
and nothing is happening. I'm like, screw it, let's go to the heavy side. By the time I get there, they're dead, and uh, then we're playing around it. So we have played 10, 10 games, we have 100% win rate. What? My team won Berlin. Team effort, guys. Yo, oh, Peter, thank you for caring, man. In the calculator, there is value, just means how many meters you will surely never get spotted? No. You put the view range of the enemy, I put 450, to like an average. So it's not 100% not getting spotted, but if enemy have 450 view range, you put your uh, camo values in the thing, and it says that uh, it's the distance, let's say 300, you are 100% not gonna get spotted uh, at uh, 301 meter if enemy has 450 meters view range. You're putting the values. They have a lot of tanks here. I'm gonna try to and spot something for my team around here. Yo, green leaf, doing good, doing good. Thank you, how are you? Actually, there is almost no one that can shoot by my spot. This guy is not ready. Lorraine is looking my way, maybe? Oh, okay. But I think he's there isolated. You think I could break through this lane, guys? I honestly really shouldn't. I wanna kill him. Maybe we should have it, I think. I've lost too much HP. If I can double track him here. Who spotted me? Was it him? Maybe. Crosby is healthy. That guy has very, very fast reload. What is that I didn't pen? Was it tracks? He got me! With the hit, perhaps the angle was too too big. Yeah, the angle. Maybe with AP it would be a bounce. But he shot me perfectly here. If it would go down, maybe that wouldn't have been a pen. But 
We picked up the 2.9 thousand damage 2k assistance by losing a lot, but what I was trying to achieve... Guys, if, if you want to be winning... If you want to be winning, all you have to do is to get your, your team map control. Win flanks. Whenever I'm playing, I'm looking at the enemy weakness. Like I said, they have a lot of tanks north. And I'm like, okay, let me try to see if I can win this flank, right? And because I was picking on the top very aggressively, uh, no one was there anymore. But sadly, there was Skoda T50 hiding in the bushes. So, the difference between player who is winning a lot and player who is not winning a lot is that the first one is aware of these principles. And the principle is very easy. Winning map control, paying attention at the setups, where is your team, and acting accordingly. Very easy, right? All right. They have a chieftain. It's encounter triple RT. Our side has advantage because we have a chance of t taking this for our team. Um, it would be very nice to have control over this area, but I'm not sure whether my team is going to do that or not. Gorilla is going to camp on that position, so that should be relatively fine. I will try to take first, second line. Maybe get on top here. Not sure. Maybe I'm not going to be uh, fast enough. But with a triple RT, which team can stay for longer is going to win. So the budget is going to kill my light tank, but I'm not going to let him do it for free. I'm going to join. Okay, this is not very good. My team did not come. The i7. i7 comes here. GG finito la comedia. Very unfortunate. How big of the balls you can have with your chieftain to be pushing in uh, this position? Uh, from the side that has advantage to take this position. How big of the balls you have. And if enemy have this position, it is impossible to win. It is literally impossible. You cannot play middle anymore. You're always going to be getting spotted for your RT. Uh, I mean, for enemy RT. And uh, you are getting farmed from everywhere. So, I don't think we can recover from this. We have three useless tanks at the bottom, four useless tanks at the bottom, and I can tell you that this guy is not going to be able to mate it. Just uh, let's, let's spectate. If the chieftain is aware, he's gonna move here and farm I7 on the cross. So sadly, we just have to watch as the difference uh, with HP uh, getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, we cannot recover from this. If, if uh, IS-7 would join, we would kill uh, both Budget and uh, this guy, because it would be 3 versus 2. So, yeah. Very aggressive push by the Chieftain. I would never consider this push myself from this side. Because uh, we had uh, quite fast setup with the mediums. But... Uh, yeah. Sadly, there is nothing we can do about it. So, what can we do here? Three light tanks, a couple of mediums, they have very, very bad uh, heavy setup. So I'm going to be playing around uh, heavies, peeking at the bridge at the beginning, and I'm going to show you the bush that you can use to your advantage on this map, on the bush, to stay invisible, guys. But uh, perhaps there is going to be a chance, or rather no chance to show it, but I will explain it. There is a bush, like this big tree on the top of the bridge, uh, you knock it towards the enemies and uh, it provides you with uh, a lot of karma. This tree, you knock it uh, towards there and you are set. Set for life.
So my heavies are very slow for some reason. The bush is already knocked down there. So there is a medium, like a leopard. Maybe a rich M light tank that is not spotted. Yeah, Centurion didn't notice that. Hmm. No, I'm fine, bro. I'm not sure what my team is doing, guys. I don't want to give up this position. Not a chance. We have such a strong uh, rubbles there. That makes it almost impossible for enemies to push unless that tank is dead. Oh. Uh, yeah, about that, guys. Oh, he knocked this tree, so you, you can just pick in the tree and you should be able to spot tanks on the other side, unspotted. After E5 is on reload, I'll try to cross there, to make a crossfire. With AP. So all I have to do is just to wait for my heavies to activate. What? And they cannot do anything. If I would be like object for 30 you, I would be able to pick very comfortably, but having this cupolas and picking against E4, I really don't want to do that. As you can see, E4 has gold rounds loaded, right? At the beginning. So all he has to do basically is just to hit my armor. But E4 is moving a lot. Oh. I have reload on the E4, so I'm not going to give up the angle. Oh, bad aim. I think he can pen my engine deck. Just the patience game, guys, waiting off of their mistakes. That was good. I think I have reload on Ifo anyway. Wait, mouse, you shot, right? Take that. Seems like he's very like easy to bait. That's not good. Oh, and my teammate is one shot. Bro!
Gotta be careful pushing, picking like this because Ifo might find an angle in me. You guy, uh... oh, what? No way, bro! Like I was playing there, like you know, like picking here, there, over here, over there. Oh man! But how did he pen me with a five? I think this guy is as good as that. Bro, I don't believe it. I, it's 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 so hard to believe it, man. <sighs> nice. I reckon we don't have CVS, right? Yeah. Okay, sadly this is the map that uh, relies a lot on uh, the light tank and I don't have the spotting set up. Wait, he didn't... It's a little bit risky to take that bush because uh, how big of a size uh, RHM is. He's already there. Nice. Uh, got this what? Yes. This stream is going to be turned into the YouTube video to teach you guys how to win more often. So yes. Uh, I don't want to stream just for the sake of streaming. I want to be making YouTube videos and educational content. Educational and fun content. That's why you are the god? What do you mean? What did I do, bro? Hi to all! Yo, Terente, hello! Guys, say hello to such a gentleman. Yeah, yeah, I know what is the goat, but what makes me the goat? I want to understand. Are you coming? Let's go! Let's go! I'm 
Shit! I thought I didn't know. I thought I would be all always in cover. That's new. I did not know this, guys. My bad. Oh, uh, is there even chance of shooting? A point? But man, people talking so much. They communicating, I like that. I think E3 is behind the bush now that he's not getting spotted. One shot out of the cliff, guys. We have two more chances. Let's hope that we're gonna high roll. Wargaming needs to improve our communication. When you ask people, there is only one alternative option. I know, man. I know. Nice. Okay, we have to remember that we have hit rounds. Oh no, look at this man. They're sitting in the bush. Okay. Well played to the light tank.
I need command sorry in tank communication. I wish that the you I wish that there would be like a thousand different uh, commands and you would be able to adjust it. Imagine. You have so many options and you can choose whatever you want because like fall back, cover me, attack, right? Like who is using attack the target? I don't personally. Maybe someone someone likes it and use it, but I would like to have uh, let's push together. I'm going to take a shot. Come with me. You know, I I, I would like to have that. Um, or cover me, like cover my tank with your armor. You know, like like that. I don't know because like what do we have T talking to the team is retreat. I need help. I will help, dude. So shit. I want to have here saying. If you push, I'm covered. Like I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm all in, bro. Trust. If you go, I'm behind you, hundred percent. You know. I, I would like to have that. This reloading, it can, it's already assigned to F8, right? I mean, yeah, it's kind of, kind of nice, but I don't know, man. It, it can be so much better. That's a long message. No, I mean, it can, it can be smaller. And also, whenever you ping, it just, it's just such a, like, it's so big, the, the message, you know? It takes so much over the chat. Hmm? Okay, we need hit rounds. So we have double tier 8 and T57 heavy. I mean, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go together with my team. Isn't there a mod for that? Maybe, but... Would be nice to be for that to be a part of the game, you know? They're not gonna pick, are they? Oh, I was unspotted, really? That is bizarre. I don't think I can do here anything, to be honest. Unless I do crazy tactic. Let's go on reload and then push. I did not know that you have an angle from there. That's good to know. Where are you? No. No, 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 no. No, you don't, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not see that. Oh. That was so bad. What? What kind of armor is not hit? Tier 9 TVP is good. Oh, I love that thing. It's awesome. Fifteen zero. GG. Uh, 
Uh, am I gonna be fast enough to get shot on those guys? Hope so. What is the final decision of fire control system on the board? I think it's uh, it's very good. Are you sure about this? No, 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 no. I'm gonna ask again. Are you sure about this? That's what I thought. I'm a little bit afraid of the FV. What are they doing, man? What? Triple seven. The next shot is going to be Amora, guys. Oh, fire. I'm not even kidding. It's always like this. Amorak of fire, trust. Man, I'm I don't care. I I mean I'm afraid of the FE. Oh no, T49 is probably Dutch. Ah, you don't like me, huh? Yeah, my post, jak się w tebie jest Discord, możesz w Discord zajść i ja tam zależy powiadomienie dla wszystkich, co ja zrobił nowy YouTube. Chyb ty nie propustyw. What are you guys wait? What are you guys waiting for? It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spot. Although I think he's. Never mind. Hmm. <sighs> How good is ST2? No. Bro, set up for budget. I played with the vans, improved aiming and stuff time ago. But I have changed it. Maybe I have changed it. Okay. Uh, you need fire control instead of improved aiming. F new fire control system. Yeah. 
because it it has gun like uh, mechanism in it kind of oh by the way man uh this map is complete dog shit now with the changes complete unplayable shit with the like you, at least you were able to play this if you are not going on the hill if you are too slow whatever at least you were able to play here and uh, now that they can cross there i think uh, south is lose uh, is winning at all times they have this position here for the heavy tank and you cannot get rid of him impossible uh, and they have this position i think north in huge disadvantage now i'm i don't know I'm going hill. Everybody's going hill, I like that. Easy. Teammate saved. Much obliged. Heal is under control. Am I not the best teammate on this planet? Oh wait, I forgot, it's three Arky there! I didn't know, guys! I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't realize. I wonder whether he's gonna be spotting this at all times or not. Like, it's so annoying to be spotted in this position. You know, you're pretty accurate with your shots as for Arty. Okay, I think we need to leave the hill. I don't have gun depression to, to play here. I'm just gonna like slowly be losing HP to Arty. Maybe I can do that? Which is less likely to happen. Probably it's not gonna Okay now we can go now we can play now we can play Do I do it? Projector is coming back, we gotta be very careful guys. Oh, saved. Yeah, he's gonna be proxy spotted. Proxy spotting, so...
Bro, can I? May I? Projecto is coming back. Ah, this guy, man. So annoying. I'm gonna sit here until he gets spotted. Wait. I can literally go down. I feel like. Hmm, it's gonna be hard. This building is new, I didn't know about it. If you understand why I did it, you are a genius in the game. If, if you guys understood why I did this, you are a genius. You don't like trees? No! So I was thinking that I will be able to go in the tree and stay unspotted from the object. But now you have, if I have to ever pick that corner, I will, do, I will be able to do that unspotted. This project is very annoying. Jump on him? I'm gonna be dead to Yaga. I still wanna win this game, guys. Okay, now that Progetto is dead, we can push ST2. If Yaga is on reload, I should certainly push this guy. Yaga is gonna be on reload on this guy. And then we go down to kill Progetto. And then we win. That's all we have to do. Manti is doing good trap now. Actually, maybe we don't win yet. Did he cross? Yeah, he could very possibly be on top. Grill is gonna be dead any second now.
Never mind. No, I moved. The second I moved. And I cannot just go and push him now. Wait, they made this rock even bigger! What for? Oh my god, Wargaming, you such a stupid... Why? Now you go to the rock and you have a cover for your hull! Hey, buddy! You cannot say it's scrape, don't worry, all you need to have is a turret. Ain't no way, bro. Why would they do that? They made it on both both sides. Yeah, uh, like if you're losing from south spawn, like you really have to try. It's insane, like it's actually insane. It's so bad. If he kills the E50M, he can go down in the bush. Oh, in the in the bush. Even heavy can be there, I think. Go to make a play. I saw that shot. I literally saw that shot. I was almost in the cover, bro. Can someone explain why our Manticore with the 1400 HP decided to push uh, Yak Panther instead of going back and kill Manticore? Can someone explain? But if you want to get RT, we can get it at the end. I don't know. It was like it was a good game. Uh, we did uh, we did a lot. We took the hill. We covered our K91. Sadly, Leopard crushed. Sadly. My push here was a very good idea. Perhaps I should have stayed in this bush. Just drive there. You know, just sit in here and wait for... Wait for Manticore. It was a good game. 
but uh, one very lucky shot from Yek Pander and it's over. Sadly. I played well. Especially I'm happy with my push at the end. Manticore, zero. Unfortunately. Coulda, coulda won the game. What do you think about rotational mechanism instead of fire control system on budget? Uh, I have to boost it to tier 3 and I don't have enough. You can try it with a tier 2. Actually, actually, let me try it with a tier 2. We can play both games and see how it behaves. But the problem of the budget is that you don't aim your shots fully. So you, you like half aim at all times. Mine, Marty, Marty didn't even shoot? No. If he would go back to the base, uh, it would be a victory, 100%. If Leo wouldn't uh, die, it would be victory. But he jumped. What do you think about the rework of Ants on Super Test? I have not seen the changes. I have not. But uh, I have very negative experience with Wargaming uh, trying to rebalance maps. It's horrible. C convince me otherwise. It's 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 horrible. The map is bad. They touch it. It's even worse. That's how it is. It's, that's how it's been for years, guys. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit scared of picking. Um, guys. I got it, boys. Man, I like this thing so much. I might try to go HE here, no? No, he's turning. Double fire, okay.
Who else likes the object? Hi. Not eight, not eight, yes, guys, not eight yet. Okay, it's eight now. How many do, kills do you need for TD fifteen? Six. That that the the kill part is so stupid, guys. Imagine you have this game, you get I'm a rock, I mean it was on RT, but still, you have double fire and you're one kill away. I think they should remove kills, like 8000 alone is already a hard thing. But man, what a game! By bringing tank destroyer in front line, by playing aggressive, we were able to get so much, so much <laughs> that we even have two teammates with the zero damage. Oh no! Imagine you playing around, you winning, and you have zero damage. Hello, Katniss. Uh, we have three leopards. Uh, I mean, two leopards and me. This is a little strong. Okay, I7 is saying affirmative. But the budget is not going to... Bro. Okay, budget is not playing. And I should be the fastest one, so... Look. Having control over the heal is nice, but it's it's not everything. You also... like the, By picking like this, you're ensuring that uh, they're not uh, gonna get the heal. So keep it in mind, guys. We will, we will have to be careful. Would be a disaster to get spotted. Knock three here for whatever reason. They're pushing other side heavily. Wait, we can get 60 TP, but the EBR is going nice. I should go and kill 60 TP. But to do that, I need to jump down because I can get shot from there. Okay. 
Okay, not bad. Wanna keep my shots? Hmm. Okay, this is GG. Let's go under load. Now we can do anything here. Whatever we want, guys. Whatever our soul desires. We can go flank them from behind. Let's go. Oh no, STB is here. It's fine. And I'm insane. If he tries to pick me, he's insane. Easy, guys. How to be in cover between the enemies <laughs> because if i would stay behind and if i would try to uh, fight the stb he would just turn he would just turn and kill me because i would be under load how did you like the play guys yeah i'm gonna keep my shot i'm gonna keep my shot guys They got it. Never worried, guys. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm not. Okay, whenever you're running away from the tank, you always need... You always want to have your front. Like, if he would try to turn to push me from here, so I would be reversing, I would have to... Ch I, would, I would have to, you know, like, change... Okay. So this is like we didn't really get to check our gun handling, right? Um, let's go again. I, I'm I'm liking playing budget. It fits my playstyle so well. And you made it until the end. After two hours of gameplay, what have you learned? Let me know in the comments. I will gladly read your comment because. Mm, I like the feedback and also let me know what kind of videos would you like to see in the future this is our new channel because the previous one got banned and if you wonder why on our twitch you can do exclamation point YouTube and you will get the information about that but for now the videos are not monetized and if you find this educational and useful use your twitch prime if you have it on twitch channel Thank you very much for watching. I will be back with more videos, but for now, I hope that those tricks that you learn are gonna help you to win more games in World of Tanks. Ciao, cacao.